is your company has already an accounting software but still doing a lot of manual processing? Are your reports already losses its relevance because you can't provide them on time or sometimes are erroneous? Are you always considering of acquiring more manpower in order to solve the problem? Incurring more cost and increasing management job at the same time? Are today's technology with the emergence of artificial intelligence has more than enough to solve this kind of problem? We can help you with your problem because our accounting software can be customized to fit to your company's need. By this, we wanted to remove all your manual processing and at the same time making your accounting information system more relevant by providing data and reports on real time. Hi, uh, this is Brian Vergara and I am the developer of Good Sheets Accounting Software and I also included in the description of this video my uh, personal background and experience as software developer and also an, as an accountant also at the same time. So today I will be presenting to you a new video tutorial on how to use the check writer or check printing on Good Sheets Accounting Software. So now let's log in into the system. So the check right there or the check printing is included in the banking module. So let's click this button, banking. And it is found or it is located at the lower portion of this uh, menu, menu buttons. This one check printing. So let's try to click this. So now this is actually the interface for this uh, check right there. So as we can see here, there's a list of pending uh, transaction for issuance of check so this transaction are actually coming from the right check module or the pbills module so in order to uh, to print the check for the specific transaction all we need to do is just to, to click or double click the specific line item of included in this list so let's try to click this uh item with butcher number 0618142 so uh, the PA uh, is uh, quantum media marketing incorporated so let's double click this line item and this is actually the the specific information for this uh, specific transaction so we can see here the the, the respective uh, journal entry or we can also click this uh, journal button to, to show the journal entry this one and from here we can uh, already create a check or print the check so in order to print the, the check for this specific transaction so all we need to do is to click this one this uh, print check button And this is actually the check for this specific transaction. So, let's try to print this check. So, we, we will not print this on a physical printer. We will just print this on PDF format. So, let's select this PDF format for now. <clears throat> and let's uh, give a name this print to. So, we can also print the specific butcher for this transaction. So, by clicking this uh, print butcher, this uh, window will pop up print butcher. So, this is totally, actually the butcher for this transaction. So, <clears throat> So this uh, this uh, module or this check writer uh, picture has uh, already an awesome uh, capability like designing the check or designing your butcher in a customized manner. So uh, let's click this design button or design a menu strip. So like for example for butcher. So we can design the butcher based on your 
prepared format. So, uh, to show you on how to, to make a design, uh, let's uh, clear this uh, image or let's delete this image. So, there are so many elements present in this uh, in this form, but you can do a drag and drop or move these elements by just holding your button or the lip side of your button, mouse button. So you can uh, drag and drop this uh, date, check, and the amount in words, figure, and even this uh, uh, journal entry form. And this one, the prepared by, you can uh, move this by using your mouse. And in order to have a guide for your design, you can put the scan copy of your butcher here. So, uh, okay, you can put by uh, drag and drop also, or you can use the <coughs> browse button. So, uh, let's find the uh, specific. I can find uh, okay. Why oh, can't I can find the debug? The debug. Ah, okay. It must be. Under the project file folder, accounting, and this one. <clears throat> so we have here the, the image of uh, or the screen copy uh, of a butcher. So let's try to click this. So this is actually uh, the screen copy of our butcher so using this uh, this uh, image we can now drag and drop all those element so it could uh, best fit with your uh, form like this one or aside from uh, browse using the browse image button uh, we can also use or uh, we can also We can also use a drag and drop. So, like for example, this one. So, you can drag the image to this uh, box. So, then save. Same thing with the uh, check design also. You can uh, browse the image of the scan copy of uh, check specific check so one or you can use or you can uh, put an image here by just uh, doing a drag and drop with your mouse so because of this image you can now uh, Position all the elements for required for pre check printing, and you can also change the the font settings, the font style, and the size, and the uh, if you wanted it to be bold, italic, or any other uh, properties for font settings, or you can also change the font color or change the background so let's save this okay so what else uh, 
we have also the functionalities for reports to show all the check that has been printed. So, we have the reports a minus trip here. So, let's try to check on this one, check register. And these are the checks that we have printed a while ago. And from here, you, you, can, uh, gen you, you can generate a report by just clicking this print report button. So, these are the report, or this is the report. Or you can export this into Excel. Oh, this is the Excel. Uh, Excel uh, report uh, exported from this uh, data grid view. And if you wanted that uh, this check or one of this check should be cancelled, so all you need to do is to double click the specific uh, check issue transaction, then you can uh, click this void button. And confirm check with transaction. Yes. So check has been voided successfully. So because we have already a void check, so you can also view this void check. So this is the check that we have been uh, that we have voided. Or you can also generate uh, other reports like butcher register. So all you need to do is just to select the date range. For example, this one from March 1. And click go. So these are all the butchers that uh, have been uh, processed. And some of these are pending for check issue ones. And some of these are already uh, closed for check issue ones. So you can uh, export this or print the report. This one, this is the report. Or you wanted to ex just export this into an Excel format. This one. Uh, okay, what else? Uh, So you can also uh, directly create a check by clicking this create check button and search a specific transaction like this one. And I think that's all for now. So thank you for uh, watching this video and God bless.